Will one of you finally give me what I desire? What's going on guys, RBG here bringing you another video on Marvel Spider-Man 2. Unfortunately not that much news has surfaced since the reveal, so all we can do at the moment is go strictly off of speculations and alleged leaks. As you all know, Venom is going to be a core component to the game's story, and anytime this character comes along, you can bet he's going to bring a super enhanced alien suit with him, which ultimately means there's a high probability we'll see the suit on someone like Peter or Miles. If you've been following the alleged leaks, apparently each of the pre-existing suits that were included in the first game will feature a black variant to coincide with the originals. That's something that really has the internet buzzing because if it's true, it can lead to endless possibilities. Like we're talking super flexible gameplay mechanics where you can switch between fighting styles. Not to mention I'm still holding out hope that Insomniac incorporates a feature that allows us to switch out any black suit on the fly as opposed to doing it via a menu. So yeah, endless possibilities man. Now usually when you see these kind of videos it consists of top picks for spidey suits YouTube users expect. But since this video is going to be all about the symbiote I want to do something a little different. Instead of making a video giving my wish list of all the Spider-Man costumes I want to see in Marvel Spider-Man 2, I've decided to do a list strictly based on the black symbiote suits I want to see in this upcoming installment. So let's get into it. Starting the wish list off, I gotta go with the Ultimate Spider-Man Black Suit. Similar to Marvel Spider-Man's iteration of the symbiote, this version was bioengineered by humans in an attempt to cure cancer. And as you'd expect, it increased Peter's strength and speed and even allowed him to produce an unlimited amount of webbing. I absolutely love this version because it put a unique spin on the suit. Plus it holds a lot of nostalgia because it was featured in multiple Spider-Man games such as the Ultimate Spider-Man game and Spider-Man Shattered Dimensions. If Insomniac decides to implement the Ultimate Black Suit, I hope they do it with cell shading and also add the physical look. Because as you know, this version of Spidey was still in high school when he first donned the costume. And his physique was a little on the skinnier side compared to the other versions. But if they want to keep their default body type for Peter Parker, that's perfectly fine. It worked well with the Shattered Dimensions version. We just need the cell shading along with that purple shading. Next up, I have the Spectacular Spider-Man Cartoon Black Suit. This show undoubtedly raised the bar when it comes to writing in a Spider-Man series. Like it takes all the great elements of Earth 616 and the Ultimate Universe and cross-pollinates them into the best stories, all the while perfectly incorporating callbacks to the Raimi Spider-Man films. If you haven't seen the series, I highly recommend checking it out. But anyways, fanboying aside, in this show the symbiote latches on to Peter. At first doing good for Peter, but after a while Peter starts to get aggressive in crime fighting and his normal life. Unlike the other black suits, this one sort of undergoes a metamorphosis amorphosis phase. When Peter first gets it, his Spider-Man suit retains the usual webbing patterns along with the logo, except it's just all black, kinda how it was in the Spider-Man 3 movie. But over time, the webbing disappears and the logo changes as the symbiote continues to bond with him. Once again, if the devs decide to implement this suit, I really hope it mirrors its cartoon counterpart. Like I would give it a similar style to the Spider-Clan slash manga Spider-Man suit from Marvel Spider-Man 1. Moving on, we gotta get that Asian Venom suit in Marvel Spider-Man 2 y'all. Yeah, I know some of you are gonna argue that it wouldn't be right to include it because for one, it isn't necessarily worn by Peter in any iteration of Spidey lore, but that's never stopped Insomniac from giving him someone else's costume before, right? Let's not forget that we had suits like Spider-Punk which was originally worn by Hobie Brown or the Spider-Man 2099 suit which was sported by Miguel O'Hara, so it shouldn't be an issue for Insomniac to put Pete in a costume that doesn't belong to him. Anyways, after losing his legs on the battlefield, Flash Thompson became the Venom after taking part in the project Rebirth. While bonded, Flash was able to reproduce his legs and share powers comparable to Spider-Man. I'm eager to see this suit make it in the game because the artists over at Insomniac never fail to add their own spin to the classic looks. They make these costumes look like something you would see in the real world. Like some of their costumes look better than anything you see in the MCU films. Considering the fact that Agent Venom is one of those black suits which features a lot of accessories, you just know the design team would have a field day with this one. Here's hoping it gets added in the game. The next suit I want to see in Marvel Spider-Man 2 actually belongs to Miles. Since we're more than likely going to be able to control both Spider-Man, chances are we'll get to play with a symbiote enhanced Miles Morales. This character doesn't necessarily have an expansive closet of suits like his mentor Peter, so the devs had to go out of their way to make most of his suits in his own game. But there is one that would be convenient to add because of this game's dark theme, and that is his Venom suit from the Dark Age comic. 
It's something brand new and it looks great on Miles. If the writers from Marvel Spider-Man wanted to, they could just use this suit as the base design if they plan on making the symbiote inhabit Miles' body. But moving on, the next suit they need to add is the Superior Symbiote Suit. I know we use the word superior a lot, especially when describing Insomniac's version of the wall crawler, and there are a lot of references to this game that harken back to the Superior Spider-Man comics. During this run, Dr. Otto Octavius takes control of Peter Parker's body and proves that he can be the superior version of the webhead. He briefly rebonds with the Venom symbiote by tricking Flash Thompson and separates Venom from him and gives Flash a set of mechanical legs to imprison the symbiote. But the symbiote proves to be too strong and breaks out of its containment and latches on to Otto. I really like this look because it retains the web pattern from the head to the shoulders. Not to mention that the Venom logo has its own unique design that looks like something Dr. Otto Octavius would come up with if he had its own Venom spider man suit. I think this would be another one of those suits where Insomniac can add their own touches to it. Kind of like what they did with the Scarlet Spider suit where they added these unique looking patterns to the parts that feature one solid red color and nothing else. The possibilities are endless with this one. Another suit that I have my fingers crossed for is the rebonded black suit. To fight Norman Osborn after he bonded to the Carnage symbiote, Spider-Man briefly rebonded with the Venom symbiote and gained a modified version of his black costume. This is a look I have a nagging suspicion that Insomniac will adapt for their version when Peter Parker ultimately obtains the symbiote in the game's story or it'll look fairly similar to this one. I feel like the legs on the spider logo stretching to the shoulders is a nice touch. Not to mention it has the web wings which I'm praying they add to the gameplay. It's already been documented in the game that Peter once featured the web wings during his early days as Spidey. And it'd be cool to see how that mechanic would be amplified by the symbiote. So yeah, put all these suits up in the game in some of that. Now, as a bonus honorable mention, I'd like to see the original black suit concept art making into Marvel Spider-Man 2. If you didn't know, it was originally a fan submission for a competition for aspiring writers and artists to elicit new ideas for the Marvel Universe. And as you see, this suit was originally a black and red suit. So it'd be a nice homage if Insomniac used those colors as an alternate version of the suit. But yeah, guys these are just the suits I would add into the game. There are more black suits for the comics, but once you've seen one, you've kind of seen them all, because you can only do so much with a costume that's primarily black, not to mention the Venom logo tends to stay the same across most of the iterations. But what are some black suits you guys want to see in the game? Let me know in the comments below. As always, I asked you to like or dislike the video. It doesn't have to be a thumbs up, it can be a thumbs down. But if you really enjoyed this video, it would help me out tremendously if you shared it with all your friends and followers on different social media outlets. Sharing really makes a difference. But once again, this is your boy RBG signing out on another video. I'll catch you guys later. Peace out. As a successful YouTube user, I often get questions asking what I use to get my videos tons of views. And the answer to that is TubeBuddy. This thing has helped me take my channel to the next level in ways I never imagined. It's a browser extension that helps new and experienced YouTubers grow fast and optimize their channels. I've been using this extension for years and it's constantly getting updated with new features, like the SEO tool that helps me come up with the perfect title, description, and tags to get more people to click on my videos. It even provides you with analytics besides your videos to see how much traffic your video is generating from various social media sites. The extension is absolutely free, but as a special offer, we're giving a 50% discount for channels that have less than a thousand subscribers that purchase the Pro Upgrade. All you have to do is enter in the code RISINGSTARBUDDY. So if you're interested in starting a YouTube channel or taking your content to the next level, download the extension now. You can do so by clicking on this link that will be provided in the description of this video.